hello friends in this lecture i would like to explain another topic that is moving load generation on a bridge deck so for that give your file name then choose your default location wherever you want to save the file type will be analytical units will be metric and then click create a new model so here you will get the default user interface then in the geometry go to grids and again beam grid option so generally it will be in the xy plane so for that you can convert into xz plane so go to edit option xz click okay so here the grid consists of 10 meters by 10 meters each and every grid consists of 1 meter but actually i want to show the panel of 5 meters width by 25 meters in length wise but here 5 10 meters by 10 meters for that what i will do means i will create 5 meters by 5 meters panel each of 1 meter by 1 5 meters and then by using translational repeat command i will extend the length of that bridge okay so i will show here so first draw 1 meter by 5 meters panel in the width wise again in the width wise it will be 5 meters again 1 meter ok so to come out of this command please click escape and then switch off this grid so go to add beam option so take the node to node distance so add the beams so see here this is the panel of 5 meters by 5 meters width wise and length wise again go to select option take geometry cursor and then select entire both beams and nodes then again go to geometry by using translational repeat command in the z direction default step spacing will be 5 meters click so number of steps you want 4 why because i told length wise 25 meters so here 20 and plus 5 25 click ok see here the bridge consists of 5 meters by 25 meters so for that go to utilities go to node tools node to node distance if you check here this is the 5 meters and the length wise 25 meters each and every grid consists of 1 meter and again 5 meters span like that i told 5 meters by 25 meters okay so again utilities now to distance remove the node to node distance then so here this is your bridge deck first you can go to the supports create the support so i will go with uh, either pinned supports okay click add and then take the supports so select the entire nodes at one end and then assign here also you can assign this end also assign that particular hinge support to the bridge deck so next to properties specifications which is properties so for steel structures you can go to the section database Okay. see here again you will get one more dialog box so generally by default it will be in american so here you can select w shape or for cha uh, i channel shape it generally it will comes under the universal beams ub so where it will be so again you can check australian also so see here ub shape which is universal beam of different shapes in the indian you can select i shape also no problem but here one more uh, steel will be there which is Jindal so Jindal is the company which is in Karnataka we people well know which was in Tornagallu near Ballari so here also you will get a universal beam shape so if you want to view the table particulars like Indian steel code book which it will mention so view the table see here if you choose any one beam like UB305165 by 40 so stat name will be it will be mentioned as it is like this so this is area how much it will be 51.32 based on the requirement depth how much you want breadth of the flange thickness of the flange and uh, moment of inertia about z axis x axis next uh, all the things you will get here plastic modulus radius of gyration each and everything you will get uh, in this table so select whatever the ratio you want so i will go with in the jindal like 305 by 165 by 40 in the single section from table click add close so i will apply this entire steel bridge so for that assign to view click assign 
click yes so for trial and error i will just take this value then next step is loading so loading is the main part here so what i told moving load for that you have to add the vehicular definitions first you can go to the vehicle definitions and then click add okay so here vehicle type 1 width will be how much in the 5 meters width span i will take 3 meters so load will be given first will be 90 kilo newtons of, of starting from zero distance and the next one will be 90 kilo newtons at a distance of some 1.5 meters and again 45 kilo newton at a distance of some 3 meters like that i will give some distance okay click add close so here your vehicle definition will be added simply okay then go to the load case details click add and again go to dead load load case 1 click add here click close so again in the load case 1 click add take self weight of this particular structure click add and immediately you have to assign that self weight to the entire structure which is assigned to view assign yes and again in the load case details click add so here you will get a load generation what i told you moving load generation on a bridge deck which is load generation and again here how many loads you have to generate you have to generate 10 loads before that you can check where we are so for that again i will show load case details add go to none so give title name as load generation so here in the load generation number of loads generated will be 10 click add close and again here click add so see here type 1 y range will be 0 x coordinate we will take some 2.5 to 5 meters like that so again in the incremental wise you will take z will be up to 3 meters length 3 meters in length wise x coordinate will be 2.25 meters so means this wise okay and this wise will be up to some 3 meters z increment click add and then close see here your loads will be generated finally i will show you how it will be generated then go to analysis define commands all add close then analysis save the structure see whether any errors will be there so there will be zero errors okay done then you will check the loading conditions See here how the moving loads will be generated on a bridge deck. This is how the moving loads generated from taking from 90, 90, 45 at a distance of some 3 meters, incremental wise 3 meters like that. Okay, so this is your analysis part on the moving load. Then go to the design part. Design part is also very simple. So for that you can go to again design here. So this is a steel structure, so you can select steel. So again I will go through Indian standards. So you can choose IS 800 or IS 2007. So select parameters. So here there will be yield strength and ultimate strength. I will move with the ultimate tensile strength which is 410 in the steel. Okay. Then click OK. And again you have to define the parameters. So I will go with the parameters of 415,000. Sorry 410. Ultimate strength will be 410 in the steel into 1000. Click add. Close. And again commands you will check first code so you can go with the fixed group so each and everything you will read whatever the choice you want you can choose that one okay i will go with member takeoff and again take off click add close so i will apply each and every command one by one assign to view assign yes and again check code assign to view assign yes and again steel member takeoff assign to view yes okay steel take off as i interview yes then go to analysis define commands click all okay close and again run analysis save the structure again check whether any errors are there so there will be zero errors okay click done then here go to the post processing mode and again you can apply the loads whatever you want click ok and again see the deflections how it will be 
so if you want results beam results you can take the beam results if you want reactions you can check with the reactions if you want plate results so there will be no plates and go to the animations you will check with the animations of the results so deflection click okay see here how the bridge will be animated okay this, this is how the animations will be and check whatever the results you want if you want to view the output file for steel design you can check the output file same like previous one also again you can check that individual beam design for the steel by clicking double click here on a particular beam and you can check steel design and what are the design property what we taken and what are the UV universal beam you chosen and what it is its flange and web part each and everything you will get here clearly again go to post processing mode you can check the full structures in the animation so for structure section outline full sections apply and see how it will be so generally you will get 3d view like this so this is the full section if you want you can check with the section outline also so this is the outline of the bridge structure thank you so much for watching this video if you really like this video please like this video share it to your friends and subscribe our channel thank you so much